Now, it was Mother Owl who woke the sun each day so that the dawn could come. Iguana drinking at a water hole. Iguana, you will never believe what I saw yesterday. Try me, said the iguana. The mosquito said, I saw a farmer digging yams that were almost as big as I am. What's a mosquito compared to a yam? snapped the iguana. I would rather be deaf than listen to such nonsense. <laughs> then he stuck two sticks in his ears and went off mick, 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 through the reeds. The iguana was still grumbling to himself when he happened to pass by a python. Good morning, iguana. The iguana did not answer but lumbered on. Badamin, badamin. Now why won't he speak to me, said the python to himself. I'm afraid he is plotting some mischief against me. He began looking for somewhere to hide. The first likely place he found was a rabbit hole, and in it he went. When the rabbit saw the big snake coming into her burrow, she was terrified. She scurried out through her back way and bounded click, click, click across a clearing. A crow saw the rabbit running for her life. It was his duty to spread the alarm in case of danger. <laughs> A monkey heard the crow. He was sure that some dangerous beast was prowling near. As the monkey was crashing through the treetops, he happened to land on a dead limb. It broke and fell on an owl's nest, killing one of the owlets. When Mother Owl returned to the nest, she found one of them dead. Her other children told her that the monkey had killed it. All that night, she sat in her tree, so sad, so sad, so sad. When she should have hooted for the sun, she did not do it. The night grew longer and longer. The animals of the forest knew it was lasting much too long. They feared that the sun would never come back. King Lion asked, Mother Owl, why have you not called the sun? The night has lasted long, 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 and everyone is worried. Mother Owl said, Monkey killed one of my owlets. Because of that, I cannot bear to wake the sun. Monkey, said the king, why did you kill one of Mother Owl's babies? Oh, king, said the monkey, it was the crow's fault. He was calling and calling to warn us of danger. And I went leaping through the trees to help. Then the king called for the crow. He said, King Lion, it was the rabbit's fault. I saw her running for her life in the daytime. Wasn't that reason enough to spread an alarm? Rabbit, cried the king, why did you break a law of nature and go running, running, running in the daytime? Oh, king, said the rabbit, it was the python's fault. I was in my house minding my own business when that big snake came in and chased me out. King Lion called the python. But king, he cried, it was the iguana's fault. He wouldn't speak to me, and I thought he was plotting some mischief against me. When I crawled into the rabbit's hole, I was only trying to hide. Iguana, what evil have you been plotting against the python? None, none at all, cried the iguana. Python is my friend. Then why wouldn't you say good morning to me, demanded the snake. I didn't hear you. Mosquito told me such a big lie, I couldn't bear to listen to it, so I put sticks in my ears. It was the mosquito's fault. King Lion said to the council, So, 
It was the mosquito who annoyed the iguana, who frightened the python, who scared the rabbit, who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, and now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so that the day can come. Punish the mosquito, cried all the animals. When Mother Owl heard that, she was satisfied. She turned her head toward the east and hooted, Meanwhile, the mosquito had listened to it all from a nearby bush. She crept under a curly leaf and was never found and brought before the council. But because of this, the mosquito has a guilty conscience. To this day, she goes about whining in people's ears. Is everyone still angry at me? When she does that, she gets an honest answer. Kapow!